Hey folks, Yarek here and welcome to Ember's Tip. So recently a new scientific study was published that features two new species of cockroaches in Baltic Ember. And as someone who follows my channel could guess, the new species is called Ectobius emberscapus. That's right, a new species of cockroach was named after me. Hell exciting for me. And now I will stop rambling and let's check out what this scientific paper is about. In short, this is systematic study of cockroach evolution after the KPG extinction event. Researchers have uncovered the treasure trove of information about cockroaches in Baltic Ember, dating back to the Eocene epoch, around 44 million years ago. This ember reveals not just the incredible diversity of these insects, but also their evolutionary journey and paleo-environmental context. In total, 29 valid species of cockroaches are now identified in Baltic Ember and were used for this study. Unlike other ember sites, Baltic Ember presents a nearly balanced distribution of modern cockroach families such as Corididae, Diplopteridae and Blatidae, with Ectobidae being the most dominant. This diversity is lower compared to Myamber Ember, which is still harbors many extinct families. The study have identified two new species, Ectobius emberscapus and Temnopteryx electrocosmi. These discoveries are critical in understanding the evolutionary history of cockroaches. Ectobius emberscapus is particularly notable for its distinct forming pattern and extensive pronotum coloration. And if someone missed it on my channel, a few months ago I went through over 4 kilograms of raw Baltic Ember material and looked to how many insect fossils can I get. I found ants, wasps, flies and two cockroaches, which one of them turned out to be a new undescribed species at the time and is now called Ectobius emberscapus. Insights from this research suggest that the climate during the time Baltic Ember was formed was subtropical. This contradicts previous beliefs that it was temperate warm. Such revelations are drawn from the high viscosity of the source raisin and the diverse species composition. High viscosity of raisin means that the raisin from the conifer trees at the time was extra dense and sticky. Comparing Baltic Amber with other significant Amber sites like Mayamber and Chiapas reveals intriguing evolutionary patterns. While Myanmar Ember contains many extinct families, Baltic Ember showcases a decline towards the modern families, indicating an advanced evolutionary stage. In short, cockroaches that are discovered in Baltic Ember are more similar to the modern living relatives than the Myanmar ones. Post the KPG boundary, around 66 million years ago, there was rapid evolution among cockroach genera. Baltic Ember shows evidence of early origination and significant evolution of modern Eurasian genera within a short span between 66 and 50 million years ago. Among the diverse species found, Ectobius species and Balta germari were ecologically dominant, making up about 90% of all adult cockroaches in Baltic Ember. Their dominance highlights their adaptive success and ecological niches during the Eocene. The research also discusses the paleobiogeography of cockroaches found in Baltic Ember. It notes that certain genera such as Stegoblata and Temnopteryx, which were indigenous to the region during the Eocene, are now primarily found in Africa or are cosmopolitan. The shift highlights the significant biogeographic changes over time. These findings from Baltic Ember not only enhance our understanding of cockroach evolution and diversity, but also provide a window into the ancient ecosystems of our planet. And yeah, this is it for the video. I hope you did enjoy it. Smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for future content. Thanks for watching and bye!